Welcome back and thank you for joining me on my learning block. Today, we're going to have the opportunity to learn about sedimentary rocks. Sedimentary, sedimentary, sedimentary. Tomato, tomato, potato, potato, but who really says potato, right? All right, sedimentary rocks. And what they are, well, I'm going ahead of myself. How do we even determine or classify rocks, right? That's the big question because you don't classify rocks. You just have rocks, things on the ground that you throw, skip on a river, right? Rocks, no, we classify them. And the classifications are determined based on how they are formed, all right? So far we have our metamorphic rocks, we have our igneous rocks, and then we have our sedimentary rocks. All right, now, how are sedimentary rocks formed? Because there's a different classification, right? Well, sedimentary rocks are formed basically by the compacting and cementing of sediments. Yes, if you ever hear a fossil, when your child is talking about dinosaurs and fossils, let them know that those are all sedimentary rocks, simply because of the fact that the fossils were bones or sediments, and what they did was cement themselves together, which formed a specific type of rock, sedimentary rocks. So all fossils um, are rocks, and they're sedimentary, sedimentary rocks. And so that's technically how they're formed. Now, when we are talking about sedimentary rocks, again, they're sediments, they're formed sediments that cemented together. But what are sediments? When you're working with your child and you're teaching them what are sediments, you wanna let them know that sediments are formed because they were rocks that have been broken down over time as a result of weathering. Weathering being wind, rain, sleet, snow, ice, and everything else that happens within the weather. What happens is that weather sorta of comes in and changes the composition of the rocks. And when it happens, you have clay, silt, sand, pebble, cobble, and boulder. Those are the six different classifications of sediment. It's right there for you. All right, and so that process, as, as you may know, that takes a very long time for a rock to generally change its composition based on the weather and create these sediments. But it really happens. Yes, sand all around you, when you see sand, it was at one time a rock that has broken down as a result of weathering, whether it's sun, the heat, whether it's air, rain, different things. So once those sediments are broken down, they all form together to form sedimentary rocks and brings us to our different types. All right, so there are three major types of sedimentary rocks, and these types are organic, plastic and crystalline, all right? And when we're talking organic, what we're talking about are sort of like coal, right? Coal is a sedimentary rock. And what it is is formed from organic matter, organic material, organic matter, organic meaning it was living at one time. And as we know, coal is formed from the remains of plants or specific type of plants. And it just sediments itself together. And even cooler, what do we get from coal? Diamonds, yes. And that's another type of rock. Go check it out, metamorphic. All right, because it does change. All right, but we have coal as an organic. And organic generally means that it came from organic matter. It, it came from some type of living um, matter, um, fossils. Yes, they're organic. Uh, plastic is a result um, formed as sediments compact um, and cementing together sort of like conglomerate. And as you can see in the picture of conglomerate, the sediment, you can see each sediment as they have compacted together. You can see that there are different minerals, different rocks that have kind of made a home in this conglomerate rock. Um, and what that basically does is you're taking organic and inorganic and you're putting, to, putting them together to form a specific type of rock. And again, it is sediments and those six sediments that we used, uh, sand, silt, clay, boulder, all those. All right, and lastly, we have our crystalline, crystalline. Um, and it's formed as a result of a chemical process. Yes, we do create rocks. 
based on chemistry, all right? And what we have here is rock salt, sort of like the stuff that we use when we're cleaning ourselves and different things like that. Because what they are used is there's a chemical process that undergoes and it changes the composition of rocks as a result of changing their sediments chemically. And so those are the four different types of sedimentary or three different types of classifications. We have organic, we have clastic and crystalline. Crystalline, think of crystals. We're, cha we're changing those crystals. C the clastic, we're putting the sediments together. And organic, again, we're using organic material only. Again, rocks that are formed as a result of compacting and cementing sediments. That is sedimentary rocks. I hope you really got something from this video when helping your child understand the whole idea about sedimentary rocks and the rock cycle as it goes together. Again, thank you for joining me on my learning block. I look forward to seeing you next time and keep learning with me.